Ooh, welcome to Keep On Creating. I'm Mike, this is my t-shirt printers. Let's create something. Slow-mo. So if you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you know when a fresh episode lands. And give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. So we're still in lockdown here in the UK and hopefully on Sunday we'll find out exactly what's the next stage we're gonna be going through. I don't know about you guys, but I feel exhausted. Anyway, on to today. Today we're gonna to learn a simple punch through effect in Affinity Designer. Affinity, Affinity Designer. Now it's not the most complicated or complex thing to do in Affinity Designer or Illustrator, but it's a good skill just to add to that skill set or that skill book. One day somebody's gonna be like, I need this text punch out of this box to make this. And you'll be like, I got this. I watched a tutorial on the Keep On Creating channel from a guy named Mike who works with my t-shirt printers. He's a South African living in the UK. All a bit weird. Had a dog called Einstein. What's up? Okay, okay. You won't say any of that. Let's just get on with the tutorial. Let's start by getting a new document open. So I'm going to head up here to Finish Designer, go across the file, drop down to New, and I'm going to go A4 Landscape Perversion I'm going to be using this time and just say Create. Now I've got my page all ready to go. Next thing to do is get a font on here. So let's get some text going. I'm gonna hit T or you can head over to your tool palette over here and get your font artistic text tool up. And let's just type in some text. I'm actually gonna go with the for hashtag keep on creating. I'm gonna select all of that. So I'm just gonna triple click it and select everything there. And let's pick a font. I'm just gonna head up here to my font selection and let's go for our Drone Ranger. Okay, cool, so I'm just gonna select that one and let's make it nice and big so we can see what we're doing. So I'm just dragging it from each side to make it nice and big. Okay, so there's our text. Now the first thing I always do with my text is let's convert this to curve. So I'm gonna hit Command Enter or you can head up here to Layer and drop down to Convert to Curve. So I'm just gonna do that and you can see over here in our Layers palette it says Group. We open that up and it gives us all these individual letters over here. Now, what we have to do with these letters, I'm gonna go all the way from a hashtag, so I'm gonna select that one, scroll all the way to the top, hold shift and select to the G. So it selects that entire width or all the letters of our font. Now I'm gonna head up here to this little button where it says add and just add them all together. So now I've got one item there. Now what we're gonna do is draw a block around this. So I'm just gonna get my marquee tool up. I always call it my marquee, my rectangle tool. So I'm gonna push M or you're gonna head over here and use this little button over here. Let's just click and drag a good size rectangle over that, okay. And I'm just gonna drag it below here on my layers palette just so that we can actually see it. Now what I'd actually like to do to this one is just give it a little bit of a rounded edge. I'm just gonna drag that out a little bit there, just give it a bit more space. But I want this to have a little bit of a rounded edge. Now to see what we're actually doing, let's just go over here to grays and I'm gonna say colors and let's just select, let's just select this blue color over here. So I'm gonna select that blue color and now I'm gonna head over here to where it says corner. And over here, I'm gonna click that and drop down to rounded, just to give it a slightly rounded corner. Now it gives us this little node over here where we can click and drag and see how much you want to adjust it by. So I'm just gonna give mine a very slight rounded edge to it. So that's, that's what I'm looking for there. Now what I wanna do is just head over to our layers palette and where we have our text. So this is this curves over here. I'm just gonna take it out of this group. So I'm gonna click and drag it above there. So it's not in that group anymore. I'm gonna delete this group by just clicking this little trash can over here and take it away. Now you can see a snap to our rectangle. And just before we do the next stage, just make sure you're happy where the rectangle is compared to your text. So if you wanna take your text, if I'm just selecting my text with my move tool, if you just wanna take your text and move it to the left or to the right a bit, just make sure you do that before the next stage. So if you need to move it that way, move it that way, just make sure you're happy of where it's actually placed. Now. With one of your items selected, so I've got my text selected here or my text graphics selected here. I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna click my rectangle background. So I'm just gonna select both of those items. Now I'm gonna head up here to these little buttons up here and I'm gonna click on this subtract option. So I'm gonna click on that and you can see what it's done. It's made almost like a white background, but that's actually our artboard coming through that area there. So if I actually bring a picture in here, so if I go file and just go place and let's just select this image I've got here and say open. Now I'm just gonna head up to my top corner over here, right to the edge, I'm gonna click, I'm just gonna drag it in, okay. And I am gonna head to my layers palette, 
click on my, this knockout gradient layer that I've just put in my image and I'm just going to drag it underneath my curves. So now you can actually see this here is my knockout text. So I can now make that white if I want to, just making sure that it hasn't got a stroke on it. I can make that white and you can see that it is now you can see right through that. So it's actually knocked out that text and you can see all of that coming through, which is really cool. And obviously now you can make this any color you want. So if you don't want this white and say you want the blue to pick up on the blue in the picture, you can make sure that you just click on your fill and not your stroke. And you can make that blue, you can make it red or you can make it yellow. I would put yellow up here to make it pop off, but I actually kind of like that white on it. But that looks cool like that. Now you know how to knock out text or graphics or other elements from another shape. So it can be a square, it can be an oval, it can be a round circle. You can knock those text graphics or any other graphics from another element. Easy, hey? A short one for today, but it adds to that skill set. So I'm gonna go try and relax after I, of course, edit this video and get it up, and then it's probably about one o'clock in the morning. It'll be all good. So that brings us to the end of another episode. Make sure to follow us on our social channels listed over here and smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe as well, ding the bell so you know when another episode has landed. And I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out of here.